Let's try the hotel. Because that guy saw. He saw the suspicious man. Cars. There's just one car here. I bet most of the guests left yesterday to get away from the storm. Okay. Window? Window. Flagpole again. The mast is a copy of a flagpole you might see on a big ship. You often get stormy yes, weather coming off the again. Atlantic, along with powerful gusts of wind. If the hotel owner ain't quick, he can go look for his flags in Canada. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> Nothing to find. Okay. Miranda. Oh, goodness. Darren, hustle. <laughs> Looks very cozy. I bet you get a fantastic view of the whales from the veranda. But, you know, that reminds me of my favorite film, Whales of August. That genius Vincent Price. In a really unusual role. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Looks very cozy, but you Blah, know... blah. Okay. Um, let's try going inside the hotel entrance first. Let's... Right, is he gonna say the there same stuff? There are pictures stuff? of ships everywhere. Either the hotel owner has a real maritime interest, or thinks that his guests want to see that kind of thing. We're gonna click all of these... Just to be sure, private. Hmm. A private sign hangs on the door. The owner and his family live in this building. Behind the door is either their living quarters or an office. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. A private Blah. sign. Plants? There's nothing in the pot apart from the plant. Nothing between the leaves. I'm glad you can see that from here. Oh, a table. There are Papers. a few magazines lying around here. Recommendations for trips, tourist information, nothing of interest to me. If you say so, buddy. Okay, can we let me look at the porter first? He owns the hotel. There are many small family-run hotels in this area. Okay, let's talk to him. Excuse me. Yes, please? Weather? <laughs> the weather isn't going to be suiting to your guests. Oh, yeah, well, there's not much going on anyway. The change in the weather was already announced. And to be honest, right now I'm quite happy that there's not so many guests in the hotel. You know why. With the uh, incident. Incident, huh? Tell me about the incident. What do you reckon? Who do you think murdered Fuller? Well, the cops already have a suspect. That's crazy. It wasn't her. I hope so, too. And I also hope they keep it quiet about where she was staying. And that's all you're worried about? Now listen here. My whole family's welfare depends on this hotel. You know what my daughter's tuition fees in Switzerland cost? There's an innocent girl sitting in jail. That interests me more than your daughter's college fees. Oh, forgive me, you're right. But if Miss Morgan is innocent, which is what we all assume, then the truth will soon come to light. Oh, I'll bring it to light, all right. Whatever it costs. Please don't say that. <laughs> uh, Angelina. Do you know that Angelina's been arrested? I... <laughs> can't tell you anything about that. But you do know. Look, Darren, this is a family hotel. Yes, we've had this conversation. I understand. Can I have a quick look around in Miss Morgan's room? Absolutely not. Even if I were to let something slip out to the Darren. press? Darren. I'm not going to be blackmailed. And anyway, the newspaper belongs to my brother-in-law. Hmm. Nice for you. Why is his default response to threaten everybody? Please stop doing that. I saw the card and the flowers that you sent my mother. Oh, well, that was a given. As I hear it, isn't she any better? Seems there's not much kept private round here. Well, my wife is a friend of the doctor's wife. <gasps> After all, one worries about people, doesn't he? Would you let me know then when my mother's condition starts to improve? Sorry? Why are you being so mean? 
stranger. Was this guy here again yesterday? You mean the one who was asking about Miss Morgan? Yes, I saw him the one time through the window. He was headed towards town. Where was he coming from? I can't tell you exactly. Somewhere from around the beach, I'd say. Hmm, well, can you keep your eyes peeled? I believe he's caught up in all this. In the murder? For sure. He was following Angel uh, Miss Morgan, and now he's framed her for the murder. <laughs> what are things coming to? What kind of folks are running around in our lovely little bit of these days? <laughs> this guy is hilarious. Police. Have the cops sealed off Miss Morgan's room? They were here first thing this morning. Got me out of bed, they did. I was worried that they'd pull the whole room apart. Took a whole lot of photos and fingerprints. <laughs> you know, like in a movie. But they didn't. The captain had a look round the room, made a few notes, and told me that nothing should be touched. But after ten minutes, he was off again, without, without taking anything with him. So are they coming back again? I, I don't know. I didn't get the feeling that the captain was looking for anything in particular. He just wanted to take a look around. So there could definitely still be clues hidden in the room. I need to be able to get a look around in there. And I'll be a lot more thorough than the captain. Yeah, this captain kind of sucks. I don't like him. Let's see what he'll say if I try to go upstairs. There's no way that the porter's gonna let me go up there. Okay, then let's use the window. <clears throat> window! I don't really like to climb into other people's houses. Well, not without a good reason. Well, you have one. Now climb in the window. What? Why won't you climb in the window? Darren? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Uh, he won't climb in the window. The porter won't let me up there. Alright, hold on. Let's look at my diary. What else do I need? We already looked in the box. Alright, let's see. Whatever full is... Hold on. Let's see if there's anything else back here. We're done with everything towards the front. Angelina's we already we we already got her pictures out of the safe, I thought. Um whoa. Oh, I didn't know he was actually recording his thoughts. Oh man. We should read these. Semester break in Biddeford. What a morning, my mom, who's a stranger in a moment hospital near in Biddeford. Let's see. Semester break, Fuller's Photo Store. Why haven't I flipped out yet? A little, a bleak little coastal town in Maine, a job in a rundown photo studio with a complete joke of a boss, and mom's well meaning suggestions every morning and every evening, and that's gonna be the pattern for three weeks. Hell, I wish the semester break was over already. What a morning. I've just met the most unbelievable woman. Angelina. It was so, so kitschy. Like some awful old movie. I didn't know what to say. I was so nervous. Damn it. I think I was even blushing. Unbelievable. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Why is there a page torn out? My mom. Typical mom. She's not even lived here for a year, and she's got herself doing half of the town's communities ta town's community work. Doctor Newhouse, who I met in the diner, wanted to keep up with mom to buy to meet up with mom to buy some paintings from her. She still hasn't turned up. Is she getting a bit forgetful? Who's the stranger? There's some guy sneaking about the neighborhood. I came across him in the diner, and I just noticed that he seems to be following Angelina. I ought to keep my eyes open. I'm gonna see Angelina again today. I'm supposed to go to the hotel to take Fuller's pictures to her. Obviously, she wasn't bothered about him putting me down right in front of her. This is really hard to read over your drawing, dude. I've got a feeling that Angelina's being followed. There's a guy creeping about the place. 
he's also been talking to Fuller. I bumped into the guy again in the hotel. Unfortunately, my film was full, but I made a note of his face. Brown combed back hair, a small straight nose with wrinkles on the sides, deep set eyes, dark eyebrows, thin mouth, small mustache, slightly droopy cheeks. That would have been helpful last time. Mom in hospital. They've just brought Mom into the hospital. She must have fallen and... I hope she gets, she gets back on her feet again. We were never all that close, I think, but she always did her best. I was no easy kid for sure. I have found some monthly bank transfers at my mom's. They come from a place called Willow Creek in England. Mom used to live in England, but who could send her thousands of dollars every year, and why? A new day in Biddeford. They say you should be careful about what you wish for, because you might just get it. But should I be sad about Fuller's death? It would seem he only got what he deserved. The only problem is that the police suspect Angelina, as if she had a motive, as if she could do something like that. Me, I had a motive, and even so, I would never have been able to do it. I've got to prove Angelina's innocent. I have to. She was lured into a trap, probably by her mysterious follower. Did he kill Fuller, or was the murder something to do with the blackmail? Probably the latter. Mrs. Byba does not strike me as the kind of person that could kill people, dude. Alright, let's see, what else we got here? Angelina's pictures on the safe, I'm sure of that, but how do I get it open in an accommodation? Didn't we do this? I could have sworn we already looked in the safe. Whatever. Uh, da -da -da. Mom's health insurance. Didn't we do this too? Yeah. Okay, he's just not crossing out some things, I guess. That's kind of unfortunate. <clears throat> did we get rid of the letter already? I think we did. <clears throat> Alright, we did that. We did that. Proof of Fuller's dealings. Fuller's murder must have something to do with all his murky dealings. I need to take a look around in the store. I found some paper snippets in the trash container at the diner. They could give me some important evidence. I've just got to turn them around and put them back together. Fuller seems to have been blackmailing Mrs. Byba, but with what? As long as I haven't found that out, nobody will believe me and Mrs. Byba will deny everything. Open the secret door. Whatever Fuller's been up to, the answers will be lying in his secret cellar. Somehow, I've got to get the door open. The secret doors behind the photo backdrops. I can't simply rip them down. Even the cops would notice that right away. I've somehow got to get the clips on the last poster undone. Fuller didn't have any evidence on him. Instead, a little key. Okay. I have an idea. Let's go back to hospital. And let's see if he'll let me carry the scale from his mom's bedroom to the morgue. Maybe then we can weigh Fuller. I don't know how, but uh, we can try. <clears throat> now will you take the scales? All right then, I'll take that heavy thing with me. Put it in your pocket like everything else. Excellent. He's got like Mary Poppins pockets. All right, let's go to the morgue. And way fuller. Hopefully. <laughs> I still don't know how. Hey! I've forgotten something else. <laughs> we look so suspicious right now. Okay, uh, let's see. Can you weigh him? I should first divert the security guy's attention. All the racket's gonna be quite suspicious. How am I supposed to do that? Maybe can I give him a soda laced with laxative? That might work. That might work. Hold on. Can we get laxative in the syringe? I've drawn a little of the laxative into the syringe. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this actually gonna happen? Am I actually gonna feed someone laxative laced soda? 
Yes. Nice. Yes. That's the laxative in the soda. Bar. Why am I so excited about this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey man, you want some soda? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey boss, you want a soda? What do you want for it? Nothing. You just gonna give me a soda as a friendly gesture. Exactly. That's very nice. No, it's not. Give it a little while and it's gonna be very not nice. Perhaps you could do me another favor. Can you keep watch here for a minute? I'll be right back. Oh, real quick. I thought you couldn't leave your post. It's an emergency. This is I'll horrible. I'll be back in a minute. We here. <laughs> okay, no problem. That is a one fast acting laxative. What was that about? Strange. Oh well, he's gone. What do you mean strange? What do you think laxatives do? You numbskull. Alright. I can work out Fuller's and the buyer's weight together. That way... How do you intend to do that? I would physically like to see how you're gonna do this. That's not gonna work. 348 pounds. The only question is, how much of that is buyer and how much is Fuller? Well, lucky for us, there's one standing right here. This way, the empty one. Let's see. The buyer weighs about 53 pounds. 348 for Fuller with the buyer, minus 53 for the buyer makes 295 pounds. That's Fuller's weight, and that's what I gotta put on the scales. Perhaps a bit more. He wasn't wearing any clothes and had lost a lot of blood after all. I weigh nearly 198 pounds with clothes on. So I just need around another 99 pounds on the scale with me. I'm sure I can find something in the basement. Don't move! What the? Look, I didn't want to... What are you doing? Trying to poison me, huh? That ain't gonna work on me. What? Me? Po poison you? What makes you think that... No one has ever offered me a drink. And someone like you, of all people, bring me a soda. Yeah, well, I thought you were thirsty. Yeah, sure, junkie. You want to steal medication, huh? Or, or equipment to make some money, don't you? That's crazy. I, I was... <laughs> the soda's poison, right? It's in the lab right now. And if it turns out you're trying to poison me... <laughs> yeah, well... It... Poisoned. Uh -huh. You going to jail for this? You, you terrorist! Wow. And you were missing your old boss and wanted to say goodbye to him. Something like that. Don't give me that crap. Breaking and entering, larceny. We can lock you up for that. Breaking and entering and larceny. <laughs> According to the security guy, I'm a seriously dangerous terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> he caught you snooping around, and that's bad enough. I understand that you want to help your girlfriend, but this kind of thing doesn't really help. When this gets out, and Dick's gonna make sure that everyone in town knows about his heroic act by tomorrow morning, <laughs> then it's gonna look like you wanted to get rid of evidence, or something like that. Can I go now? <laughs> Darren, I'm not against you, but keep your nose out of this. If we catch you snooping around again, you're gonna end up in the can, capiche? Yeah, capiche. Now get out of here. I've got to reassure Dick and make it clear to him the boy's harmless. Please do. <laughs> and I'm going to continue where I left off, at Fuller's secret door. We still don't know the code, though. I have nothing to say to her at the moment. Okay. Anything else in here? I guess not. All right. Well, that was unexpected. Guess he's smarter than I gave him credit for. Or at least that Darren gave him credit for. Um. Man, what was I. I was gonna say things, and then that happened, and I got distracted, and now I forgot. 
Where was I? What were we doing? Oh, okay, yeah, I need to go pack his pockets with 99 pounds of bread. Um. <laughs> or we could just do what he says and use items from the basement. So I wrote down what we need. He weighs 198, and then we need another 99 pounds. Hurry up! Okay. How are we gonna... How are we gonna check if the weight is right? Maybe he'll just do it himself? Okay, I'm missing about 90 pounds of additional weight. That shouldn't be a problem. If you say so. I said 99, that's closer to 100 than 90. Along with my weight, another few pounds ought to do it. I reckon that'll be exactly enough. Are you counting all the crap you have in your pocket? 